Hey fam, let's make creamy mashed potato with beef stew. So start by seasoning your beef with some salt and black pepper. You can use white pepper or dry chili pepper if you want. Just give this a very good mix and then set it aside. Into a pan, add some oil and then add your beef into it. Don't overcrowd your pan, you just want to brown this nicely. You can do this in batches. And once it's nicely brown, just take it off the pan and then add some oil if you have to. I added my onion, celery and garlic. And I cook this for about 3 minutes before adding my tomato paste into it and i also cooked this also the tomato paste for about three minutes again and then i poured in the beef back into the pot and afterwards i added my beef stock into it i added some fresh thyme some salt some black pepper you can use chili pepper white pepper any kind of pepper that you want and i stirred this nicely and covered it to cook for about 40 minutes and after 40 minutes I poured in my carrots into it. You can totally leave out carrots if you don't want any any other vegetable in it. So I just stirred it and covered it to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I added my pea also. Like I said, it is optional. The vegetables are optional. I added my slurry into it, which I made from cornstarch and water. And you can see it's not very thick here. It will thicken as it's cooked. I allow it to cook for about 10 minutes and you can see how it has gotten thicker and you can see how pretty also this is looking it was so so yummy the aroma was so beautiful and into another pot i added some salt some butter into it and we're making our creamy mashed potato so i poured in my ayola potato flour and i kept stirring it as i poured in the flour Ayola potato flour is made from 100% Irish potato. It is available in every supermarket in Nigeria and almost all local markets. So I just mixed it up nicely and then I poured in my liquid milk into it. You can use a mixture of powdered milk and some water. If you have liquid milk, you can use it. You can also mix a little bit of cooking cream and some milk also and you can see how fluffy this is looking you can see how creamy this is looking it is very very easy to make ayola potato flour and after mixing it up nicely just like this i removed it from the heat and served it with the beef stew you can see how pretty this is looking it's so filling and so yummy guys you have to try this recipe